Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is your time zone across the world. It is motivational wisdom, straight talk time. Today, I'm going to educate you so you can grow and lead a fundamental principle I use in my management consultant services. Today, you're tuned in with Lady Cynthia Kelly and a special conversation about elder abuse signs. I'm going to start off with a scripture, as I always do, and then I will add a quote. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul life take counsel together. That's in Psalms 71, 9 through 10. Now let me add this quote that the Lord gave to me. The value of one's life from infancy to old age is not weighed by adversaries, but he who gives life and delivers. Just reflect on this for a moment. Now, the definition of life within the contextual has three in-depth meanings. The first meaning, according to Genesis 2 and 7, the Lord God formed the man from dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Man became a living being. The second is the breath of life preeminates the heart life. Without breath, the human being ceased to exist. Exist. Therefore, the Godhead deity is the source and sustainer of life. And three, the quality of life that distinguishes a vital and functional human being from a dead body. The God-given human being withholds four dimensions of life within the cycle of life. There is lifetime, the duration of a person's life predestined by God. And then the human lifespan is the length of time of which a person lives or functions. Life course The entirety of an individual's life from birth to death, typically a set of circumstances and individual experiences in a given society as they age. And spiritual life, the life lived in and connected to the Godhead as the source of life, strength, and deliverance. The aging cycle of life around the world starts at infancy to old age and then death. Therefore, the life cycle design is a process of aging. The elder old age is classified as an older person between 60 years and up. It is the latter part of normal life. The state of being old or relating to a more advanced time of life. Life is designed to progress if life is not stopped. Let's stop to digest. Let's listen and read another context of scripture. Isaiah 46 and 4. It says, even to your old age, I am he. And even to gray hairs, I will carry you. I have made and I will bear you. Even I will carry and will deliver you. This context of scripture reminds us and growing old, facing human rights issues, it is the Lord. 
which uh, will deliver and he will even instruct people to intervene. The amazement of uh, this context of this scripture is God's people were putting their hope in idols to deliver them. But in verse 4 specifically, God speaks to the age to return to him for deliverance. Let's stop to digest again. King David experienced the old age life abuse in Psalm 71. He had this view of his adversaries plotting and taking counsel to harm him. David in all in his old age became fearful within his lifetime. However, he prays to God, the rock of his salvation, to save him. If we were to go back to Psalms 71 and read the preceding verses 11 through uh, 13 and then read verse 18, it says, saying God has forsaken him. Who is saying this? David. King David's abusers, pursue and take him, for there is none to deliver him. And then King David says, Oh God, do not be far from me. Oh my God, make haste to help me. Let them be confounded and consumed who are adversaries of my life. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek my hurt. And then verse 18 of Psalm 71. Now also, when I am old and gray-headed, O God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. King David's prayer to the rock of his salvation to save him from abuse. This is the prayer of many of the old age saints and not even the old age saints, but of old age human beings experiencing some form of elder abuse. My God, it has reached heaven. A shift of change has already started. Let me tell you, everything is recorded in heaven. Every abuser has a heavenly record. The seeds you sow, you will reap at a rapid speed now, and some even to death because of the willful, manipulative wickedness of the abuse. Now, let's deal with society, a scientist, and other experts on elder abuse signs in my research. And I, I know about elder abuse. I just want to stop here before I go on to let's deal with the Society of Science and the other experts on elder abuse signs. I have worked in nursing homes as a certified nurse's assistant. Then I have worked in hospitals dealing with the elderly, worked on special committees. I have over 25 years in the healthcare field. Not only that, but I have a mother who is classified as an elder. So I have a experience. I know the signs. And I have had to report on a professional level. Now, let's deal with society scientists and other experts on elder abuse signs. The National Institute on Aging reports about 1 in 10 adults aged 60 and older experience some form of elder abuse. This was recorded the content in July of 2020. The World Health Organization, who, 
reports worldwide about one in six adults age 60 and older will experience some form of elder abuse. Hugh reported in October of 2021, the global aging population will increase by double, almost triple from 9 million in 2025 to about 2 billion in 20. It also reported that hundreds and thousands of elders are experiencing a human rights uh, crisis of elder abuse. Elder abuse occurs from someone who is trusted. And this includes family members, caregivers, nursing homes facilities, assisted living facilities, organizations, and friends. Now let's deal with what are the elder abuse signs. There are six classifications, but there are many additional signs. The first classification Is physical abuse. It happens when someone causes bodily harm by hitting, pushing, or slapping. This may also include restraining an older adult against his or her will, such as locking them in a room or trying to uh, uh, tie them to furniture. Uh, Emotional abuse, uh, which is one of the hotbeds now. Uh, Something uh, sometimes called psychological abuse. It can include the caregiver or family member saying hurtful words, yelling, threatening, or repeatedly annoying the elder adult. In other words, it is a belittling thing to cause fear and bring them harm psychologically. Keeping that person from also seeing close friends and relatives is another form of emotional abuse. It is to take the elder that was free and have them succumb to a prison like of isolation from the friends and loved ones who really love them. The third one is neglect. Neglect occurs when the caregiver or trusted family member does not try to respond to the older adult needs. This may include physical, emotional, social needs, or withholding food, even medication or access to health care. The fourth is abandonment. It is leaving an older adult who needs help alone without planning for his or her care. The fifth is sexual abuse. It involves a caregiver forcing an older adult to watch or be part of sexual acts. And six, financial abuse happens when money or belongings are stolen from the older adult. It can include forging checks, taking someone else's retirement or social security benefits, or using personal credit cards and bank accounts without their permission. It is taking over their finances, over their bank accounts, and using those forms, those funds for themselves. It is also changing the names on wheels and banks account, life insurance policies, or title to houses without permission. Uh, It takes the independence of one's finances and withholds the money without access to their own funds and bank accounts. Let's stop to digest this for a moment. We're talking about elder abuse signs. What life lessons to remember? Let's look at the help perspective. Let's discuss the help linkages connected to elder abuse. One, know the signs. Read about elder abuse signs and evaluate situations of elder people you know. There are many 
distinctive signs which unveil that are red flags. Visit the website of destinedforgreatwork.network and click on the link for the handout. Two, step in to help. Elder abuse will not stop on its own. Someone else needs to step in and help. Elder abuse is a human rights crisis and it is a crime. Many older adults are too ashamed to report mistreatment or they are afraid if they make a report, it will get back to the abuser and make the situation worse. Visit the website for the contact numbers. Click on the link. Three, know the long-term term effects. Elder abuse can lead to early death, harm to physical and psychological health. It destroys social and family ties, causes devastating financial loss and more. Any type of of mistreatment can leave the abused person feeling fearful and depressed. Sometimes the victim think the abuse is his or her fault. My God. Number four, take action. Intervene with appropriate legal actions. Do not be intimidated by power plays of people or systems A practice. A person who takes life or vitality of life is a murderer of productive life. No other way to look at it. Number five, save life. Everyone is granted life by God only. He takes pleasure and his old age saints and those appointed to salvation. The will of God is a vital life of freedom, peace, safety, and from harm. Number six, pray for the elder. Pray for God's divine intervention. Pray for the elder in abuse to take courage not to stay silent. Pray a shield of protection for the elder mind, spirit, body. Not to continue in the manipulation of abuse. Pray for restored and functional life. Double what the abusers tried to take away. Pray every need is met and God's mercy and grace is extended. What advice from this life lesson? about elder abuse signs might I give as a personal reflection and experience. Listen to what the elder, older person is saying, even if they change the conversation to reverse and fear. Watch their actions. Is it normal or or have independence been taken? Observe what has been happening. What was the elder person like before? Has the elder person been withheld from visiting relatives and friends at free will? Are they constantly mentioning the abuser or building up the abuser? Whatever you do, do not stay silent from this day going forward. There is only one God over life. Save life today. Save life. Know the signs. This has come up before God because our old age elders are praying because of the abuse they are experiencing. I leave this thought with you. A silent voice is not 
a voice of life when it can save life. This is Lady Cynthia R. Kelly. Tune in off with the motivational wisdom, straight talk conversations, straight from the heart. Elder abuse signs. Be blessed and stay connected to Jesus. Jesus.